In this video, I am going to talk about how you can improve your Shopify store speed in just four simple steps. And no, you don't need any technical experience to implement this strategy. In fact, you can simply follow along with this video, and by the end of this video, your Shopify store performance will go from this to this. Let's get started. The first step to improve your store speed is reducing the number of apps from your Shopify store. One of the most common culprits of slow loading times on Shopify stores is the presence of unused or unnecessary apps. While apps can add valuable functionality to your store, having too many can bog down your site and increase load times. When you download apps and features to your shop, they incorporate some code and script to your site so they can run. But if you're not using these, the code is just running in the background for no reason, making your site's performance slower. Shopify recommends using a maximum of around 20 apps. If you have more than that, go through your store to check for any unused apps you can remove. Here's how to remove any unwanted app from Shopify. On your Shopify dashboard, click on Apps on the left. Now, select the app you want to remove. On the top right, click on this three dots, and then click on Uninstall App, and then Confirm. And now the app is removed from your store. You can also go to your store settings and then go to apps and sales channels options. And from here, you can uninstall any unused app or sales channel from your store. So pause this video and remove all the apps from your store right away. With that note, let's talk about the next step, which is to optimize all the images of your store. You see, high quality images often come with large file sizes. This can be a problem when you consider that these files need to be downloaded from the server to the user's device when the web page loads. Why? Because larger files take longer to download, especially on slower internet connections, and that slows the overall site speed. And each image typically requires a separate hypertext transfer protocol request to the server. So more images mean more requests that add to the server's load and the overall data transfer time. You can use tools like Optimizilla or TinyPNG to reduce the file size of your images without losing much quality. Additionally, you should only use images that help your customers understand your products and make purchases. Avoid too many decorative images that don't provide value. This is an extremely important step for improving your store speed. And once you implement this, your store speed will definitely increase a lot. With that note, let's talk about the third step to increase your store speed which is to use a mobile responsive and fully updated theme. Your choice of Shopify theme can have a big impact on your store's speed and performance. Opt for a mobile responsive theme that's fully optimized for speed and usability on all devices. Additionally, make sure that your theme is fully updated to the latest version, as updates often include performance improvements and bug fixes that can help speed up your store. While a Shopify theme can start out as lightweight and fast, Making excessive changes to its core design can result in a bloated, slow site. So, here are some tips to maintain and optimize your theme's performance. First, you need to minimize your theme customizations. Too many unnecessary customizations, especially those that require additional scripts or heavy resources like complex animations, can slow down your theme. Try to use the theme's built-in features and keep custom changes to a minimum. Next, you need to streamline your homepage. A cluttered homepage takes longer to load and can be harder to navigate. Consider showcasing only the essential elements, like products, that are crucial to your business. All right, now let's talk about the fourth step to improve your Shopify store speed, which is to remove all the unnecessary images from your store. You see, when it comes to e-commerce, every store comes up with new offers and discounts. Store owners highlight those seasonal offers using banners and slideshows. And once the season ends, they simply remove the banners from the website. However, many Shopify owners only remove it from the front end. But in the back end, that image, banner, or slideshow is still stored with other images of your store. And we need to remove them from the back end as well. To do that, we need to go to our store dashboard and then go to content on the left. Next, click on the files option. Here, you will find all the images that are available in your store. Now, select the images that are no longer needed into your store. Then click on Delete Files option to remove them. Last but not least, 
We need to make sure that there are no broken links available on our website. Broken links not only create a poor user experience, but can also impact your Shopify store's loading speed. So, it's important to remove or fix all the broken links of your store. You can use a tool called SEMrush to identify and fix any broken links on your site. Removing broken links will help streamline your site's navigation and improve loading times for your customers. Additionally, you should regularly check for broken images and media files and remove or replace them as needed to further optimize your site's performance. Implementing these five steps into your Shopify store will definitely boost your Shopify store. Now, there are a few technical things, such as minimizing CSS and JavaScripts, using content delivery networks, etc. However, I haven't mentioned them in this video. Since your store is hosted in Shopify, you won't have to do these technical stuff. Shopify takes care of all these technical stuff itself. You only need to focus on the five steps that I've mentioned in this video. Remember, it's also important to measure your site performance on a regular basis. Make sure to perform regular website audits, track your store speed, and your overall store health. You can use a tool like SEMrush for tracking your website performance. SEMrush will help you with your website audit and health checkup. This tool will also help you with SEO and competitor research as well, which will help you grow further in your business. You can get a free forever SEMrush account using the first link which is given in the video description. And if you want to further optimize your website for SEO, then make sure to watch this video next. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.